What is up you guys? I decided to do another review on a knife today. I don't really know what brand of knife this is. If any of you guys know what brand of knife it is, just leave it in the comments. I'd like to know. I mean, it's an older knife. I know that much. It used to be my grandpa's and he wasn't very good at sharpening stuff, but he he always used to try. I mean, you could tell it's an older knife just by the style of it. I mean, Um, yeah, it's a good knife for where it was made. I mean, it was, it's stainless steel, which it obviously is. It was made in Pakistan. Um, it's a, it's a real wood, um, handle, as you can tell. Um, one thing I don't know is if it's because of the age of this knife or it came like this or what, but, um, it has some extreme blade wobble. I mean, just listen to that. That is some extreme blade wobble. Um, not a real big fan of the locking me mechanism on it either. Um, but it's what I get for um getting a handy down knife. I mean, I mean it's a decent little knife. I mean. That's how big it is. Um, it's still got a good spring in it. I mean, you can tell it's still got a good spring in it by in the lock by just doing that. I mean, I don't think it's been used that hard. I I used to use it before I got my Defender Extreme Pro Edition for uh, playing deer. And it used to work really good for that, but then my grandpa got a hold of it again and tried to sharpen it and destroyed it. And now for playing deer, I use my Spring Assist Defender Extreme Pro Edition. I really like that knife, but back on the topic, as you guys know, I get off topic really, really easily. This knife, I recommend it for someone who needs a cheap knife for playing deer. I mean... I think my grandpa in 2003, I believe, paid I think five bucks for this night at their at his local Walmart, which was in Tucson, Arizona, and now I am currently in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. But what's that mean? What's that care? I mean, I mean, I don't live in Des Moines, Iowa. I don't. I live in Arkansas. But what's that matter? But uh, yeah. You need a knife and a pinch, go to Walmart and buy yourself one. I don't know if they make them anymore, actually, but the way you can tell is it's extremely squared. I mean, if you fit it in your hand, even though it's squared, I mean, it's extremely comfortable. I mean, there's no finger grips or anything, but still, it's a comfortable knife. I mean, if you need it, need a knife like this in a pinch, I'd suggest buying it and then just keeping it in your knife drawer or whatever. But uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down. I want to see your opinion in the comments below. Live your life the way you want to live it. Do not let anybody else else tell you what you how you need to li live your life. Live it the way you want to live it.